Welcome to section 2. In the last section we saw how to download and include underscore in our project. In this section we look at the tools underscore gives us for dealing with arrays and in this first video of this section we're going to look at the basic tools for iterating over arrays using the each and map functions that provide the cornerstone of the underscore library. You should be aware that these functions are also available natively in newer versions of JavaScript but the ones underscore provides are a little bit more flexible have some better compatibility, and in many cases are actually faster. So let's take a moment first to set up a project to get data. I'm going to include the jQuery library on the page, because it's always useful. Now let's write a function to get the data. Remember, we're writing an app to correlate international space station flyovers with local weather. So first, let's grab the ISS flyover data. We're going to get that from the Open Notify API. We'll request it via JSONP, which lets us get around some of the cross-site requesting security issues. So let's have a look at the documentation here. And we're basically just going to use this version down here. So if I just cut and paste that, I'm going to hard code the latitude and longitude for the moment to my hometown of Brighton. I'm also going to set the callback to a question mark, which is just what the jQuery library needs. OK, so now we want the weather data. So let's add in another jQuery request to get the weather data. Um, we're going to get the weather data from the Open Weather API. So again, we have a look at the documentation, and again, we want it in JSONP format. So we're going to use a, a URL like this. Let's paste that in, and we're again going to hard code the latitude and longitudes to Brighton. Now. Weather API, it can also take a callback parameter so it works in JSONP mode. I'm going to do that again and then we're going to take the result of that and we're going to call a function with the results of both of those things, so with the ISS flyover data and the weather data. Right, let's create the function to be called. For the moment, we're just going to console log the data. So let's create the function. It accepts the ISS flyover data and the weather, and we console log out both of those things. So first the ISS data, and now the weather data. That's just going to let us check that it works. So let's put in a call to our refresh data function, and let's also hook up that refresh button we created earlier, so that when the user clicks the button, they refresh the data. I'll just add this parameter here to request a larger number of flyovers from the Open Notify API. If we look at the data we're getting from the Open Notify API, we can see that it's a JSON object, and at the stop we want is an array under the response key. Each element has a rise time, which looks like a Unix timestamp, and a duration, which looks like it's also in seconds. So let's loop over that and output it to the page. Now the traditional way to loop over an array in JavaScript was to use a for loop. You set an iteration variable and increment each time through. It's both fiddly and error prone. The underscore way is to use a function called each that will call a function for every item in the array. So let's create the function first. It's going to be called output flyover and it's going to take the data for one flyover at a time. It takes as arguments both the flyover data itself and the index in the array. And let's have it add the flyover time to the page using a simple bit of jQuery. We'll combine the flyover time with a little bit of HTML, then we'll append it to the flyovers div we created earlier. We then use the each function to have this function we've created called for each item in the array. Output flyover will now be called for each item in the array. So let's check our handiwork. Well, it may not be very useful, but it's a start. So the first thing I'm sure you've noticed is that showing the times as numbers isn't very useful. So let's process the list of flyovers and replace those timestamps with JavaScript date objects. Underscore provides a useful way to loop over an array and build another array from it called map. Map works just like each, except it collects back the return values each time it calls the function. Let's make a function that takes flyover data and returns a version of the data with the rise time converted to a date. We take the flyover and we use it to create a new object. We pass through the duration as is, but the rise time we convert to a JavaScript date. 
I'm having to multiply it by a thousand here because JavaScript likes its timestamps in milliseconds, but the rise times we have here are in seconds. Now we call the map function, passing in our input data and the function we just created. We can modify the call to the each function down here to use our new transformed flyovers array instead of the raw data. Now let's have a look at the effect. Well, it's definitely an improvement. In this video, we've looked at the basic tools for iterating over and transforming arrays. Join me in the next video when we look at some of the great tools Underscore provides for finding and filtering items in arrays.